Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Rapper Glorilla released some new music last week, and the fans were not too excited about one of the words that she used. They were so upset that they forced her to reconsider and take action. She had to remove one of the lyrics from the song. Now, wait a minute, fam. I had to reread that whole article because I didn't know fans had that type of power. I thought you had to kind of just take whatever you can get. What was the word? Was it the B word? No. How about the P word? No. The D word? No. Uh, the J word? No. The N had to be the N word because I know that's a bad word and that's, that is a terrible word and that word has gotten more people lynched and, 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 and brutalized. More people that lost their jobs behind using that word. That has to be the most, the, 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 the single most disruptive word in the entire English lexicon. It has to be. It had to be in word, but it wasn't. The R word, a word that's so ambiguous to some, some people that they didn't even know what it meant. It was some people were like, well, what's the R word? Retarded. Out of all the words that she uses in her songs, out of all of the vulgarity that she spew in her music, the fans said, the buck stops here with the R word. That's just one word that we cannot tolerate. You can call us bees. You could talk about selling P, slinging D, rob, killing, whatever you want to talk about, but don't you dare say the R word. Not all, but this is further illustration that many people in this generation today are indeed retarded family how they gonna choose the R word over the N word if there's any word that has to go if we're gonna start this censorship thing where we taking certain words you know out of music N word it's got to be at the top of the list it ain't even a word that's close. That is a dangerous word. That is a destructive, divisive word. That word should be at the very top of the list. But it goes to show you how some people view that word. A lot of people look at that word like it's something cool. No matter how much they hear about the damage it's caused, no matter how divisive the word is, it's just something in, something in people that want to, you know, give them a pass to use that word. You know, I personally, I don't see the attraction to the word. You know, the only thing I can think of is in the black community, how so many black people have been brainwashed with the word, just hearing the word so often. Then you got these people that say, well, you know, it's a term of endearment. Man, anybody call me that partner, you can look for a fight. Now, I ain't gonna say I ain't never used the word. I've obviously used the word, but whenever I've used that word, I use it for its exact intention. 
When I say that, I got it on my mind. I'm looking at that person as somebody vile. I'm disgusted. There is no way to use that word in a, as a term of endearment to me. Point blank period. This also further illustrates that the fans do have a say so in what artists put out. The fans at the end of the day get to determine who makes it and who don't. What actually goes to the top and what don't. Look, listen, a consultant can say, yo, we're going to push this song and we're going to play this song. They can play it all day long. But if the fans disconnect from the radio when they play it, they're going to have to play something else. If the fans decide, we're not buying the record. We don't give a damn how often you play it. We're not going to see him or her in concert. We don't care how big you try to make them. We don't care how you try to blow them up. We're not buying into it. The fans got the final say so. So when people talk about the artist is whack, I have to disagree. The artist is going to do what they think the fans want to hear, what the fans are going to buy. It's a business. The record labels are only going to sign artists who they think can sell records. If they can get an artist to talk down on their community and contribute to the destruction of their community? Well, hell, that's a two for one. They got paid and they were able to get them an artist that would help contribute to the destruction of their community. The fans got the final say so. So when the fans say an artist is whack, I say no, no, no. The fans are whack because the fan, that artist wouldn't be popular without the fans. If the artist is low vibrational, his audience has to be low vibrational. Right or wrong? Even if he got one, if, even if he got three fans, just three fans bought his music, those three fans got to be low vibrational if they bought that music. That's how that goes. They really are tripping over the R word. They came at her for that. Not for all of the other vulgarity that she spews. Not for all of those other divisive words. Yeah, Glow. <laughs> Good Lord, man. We got to be nearing the end of time, fam. We got to be. No more talk, man. 